everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video to learn some magic tricks from Jeffini's Beginner Magic Collection. I hope you've enjoyed looking through your collection to find out some of the tricks that you have in there. This trick is the very first trick in your instruction booklet. Just open that front cover and you'll find it on page three. Now this is one of the oldest tricks ever known to mankind. In fact, there's pictures of this trick in the hieroglyphics in some of the pyramids in Egypt. That's how old this trick is. So it's a great trick to begin your magic career. It's called the cups and the balls trick. It's very simple. We have three balls and three cups. We have a yellow cup, a red cup, and a blue cup. Now the trick goes like this. First I'll show you how it's done, and then I'll show you how to do it. Today we take a yellow ball, we place it on the middle cup. We'll take both cups, place it on top, tap it twice, and it goes right through the cups. Well, you can do that three times because you have three balls and three cups. Tap it three times, and it goes right through the cups. This is amazing, you think. I know it is. Take it one more time, place it right there, put it on top, tap it three times, pull it off, and now you have three balls that have all passed right through the cups. Simple trick. Let's find out how you do it. I always begin with three cups and three balls. The three balls are in my top cup. Today, it's the yellow cup. But here's the secret. In the middle cup, you have a fourth ball. Right there it is. You take that ball, place it into the middle cup, put this cup on top. Now, it's important that you never let your audience see that fourth ball. If you do, you'll be revealing that magic secret. And remember our promise to never reveal a secret on accident or on purpose. So, even when you store this magic trick back in your magic kit, make sure you hide that fourth ball in case your sister or brother or mom or dad come and check it out. We don't want them to know the secret. Now let me show you how it's done. Like I said, you start with that secret ball inside the middle cup. The three balls are in the top cup. I always pour out the three balls just like that, and I place them so that they can easily be seen by the audience. Now watch. I'm going to come over and I'm going to take away the bottom cup. You can do it different ways, but this is the easiest. Take away the bottom cup, and I'm going to turn it over right behind ball number one. I reach up and I take away the middle cup, that's the cup with the secret ball in it, and I'm going to place it right behind ball number two. Then I come up, take the third cup, and place it behind ball number three. Now there's something you have to work at a little bit. You're going to have to practice this. When I take that cup that has the secret ball in it, and I'll be doing this several times during the trick, I have to make sure that I don't turn it like that where the audience can see the ball. I have to kind of turn it away from the audience, away from the other boys and girls. I also can't let them see it, so when I take it down, I pull it so it's away from the audience, or in this case, you, so you can't see it. Then I carefully tip it over. Now, I don't want to go really fast. That looks kind of cheesy, and people will kind of figure out what you're doing. You just set it down naturally, just like you set the other cups down. So, again, we have two cups on the outside with no secret ball. The secret ball is underneath the middle cup. Now, I'm going to take the middle ball. I always do this so that when I reveal the cup, the, uh, the ball underneath, Everybody can see it clearly, all right? 
I place it on that middle cup that's over the one with the secret ball. I place these two cups right on top. I tap it three times. Now that's what I do. You could tap it two or one or 22, doesn't matter to me. But I always tap it three times because it sort of keeps the trick consistent. Now when I'm going to pick the cups up, I don't pick them up like this. You could, but a better way to do it is to take your hand, reach around so your hand kind of goes upside down and pick up all three cups at the same time. That's something you'll have to practice. I have hands that might be larger than yours and the cups are kind of small. So it works, I think you should be able to do that as well. Just reach over and pick that up. Reveal that middle ball and say, look, it went all the way through the cups. I always kind of point, it kind of helps the people see this image of that ball passing right through the cups. I know. Well, the second part of our trick, we do the same thing again. Reach up, take the bottom cup, and put it over to the left. I'm using my right hand, put it over towards my left. The next cup, look what it has. Might be hard to see it in there because it's a yellow ball in a yellow cup, but it's there. And I turn that cup over the other ball. Again, this is something you'll have to practice to make sure it doesn't fly out by accident like that. That would reveal the trick. So I place it down, I reach up and place the third cup there. Now I take one of the balls, place it in the middle cup, put the other two cups on top, tap it three times, reach around, pick up the cups, and I show the two balls. Now you notice when I move my cups, the balls kind of rolled a little bit. That's okay. But this is why I always say, see, there's one, two balls that passed all the way through the cups. I do that so that the balls are placed back close together. Because now I've got to one more time, take the bottom cup off, and I've got to take that secret ball and place that cup over both of those balls going to have to practice that. Again, that's why I make sure the balls are close together. I place it right over. I place cup number three down, and I do the exact same thing one more time. Three taps. I might want to say a magic word like abracadabra, hocus pocus, or in my case, Jeffini jelly beanie. When I do that, reach up, and all three balls have passed through the cups. Now, check this out. Once I put these balls right back up there, I'm all set to do the trick again. That middle cup has the secret ball waiting. That's one way you can finish it and the easiest. In a few videos down the road, I'll show you a couple other ways to make the magic trick seem even more magical. Thanks and have a great day. Don't forget, Jeffini Magic is where you become a magician.